It's been over 8 years since PS3 Minecraft released, and the old console editions are some of the most nostalgic versions for so many people, including myself. The video where I revisited the old Xbox 360 Minecraft is my most popular to this day, so I thought it'd be a great start to the year 2023 by playing the very first update of Minecraft released for the PlayStation 3. Buying a PS3 for this video set me back about 70 great British pounds, so I truly hope this video brings back cherished memories for many people. Sit back and enjoy as I take you on a trip to Minecraft in 2014. I started a brand new survival world in this a few days ago, so I'm going to show you around that and we can see what's really changed in Minecraft over the years. It's going to be extra nostalgic going back to the first ever update of this. If I connected to the internet I can get a much newer version of Minecraft. I know it has a light tree in it, don't know how far it goes after that. But right now I'm going to stick to the old update for the pure Minecraft nostalgia trip. And welcome to my world. Here is my wheat farm. You have one carrot there. Oh no, they're potatoes. I haven't built much on it so far. I've been working on this bridge mainly. I haven't even got a house yet. Over here is where I want to build my house. It's a weird shape, but I might as well make it quirky, seeing as there aren't all of the fancy blocks we have nowadays to make builds look detailed, so it's kind of best to just do a random shaped build. I made a little lamp here. I have a cactus farm, as I'm working on a sheep farm to make a creeper statue on top of this hill. So if you cross the bridge, I did a little detailed path here with some flowers on the side. And over here is my sheep farm. I haven't dyed them yet, but I need to dye them very soon after my cactus finally starts to grow. Then I can work on the creeper up there. I should probably go to sleep, I don't want to die to any mobs. I can show you my makeshift house for now. It's over here by this cross. I don't know why I made it across, I thought it'd be a creepy little reference to when people thought Herobrine would spawn in if there was a cross in the floor. I remember those Minecraft 3am videos on Pocket Edition. Let's go kill this skeleton. I'm almost at level 30, that's gonna be fun. I still haven't found diamonds, I went strip mining for ages and no luck, but I feel like this update of PlayStation 3 had less diamonds than the previous update I played on Xbox 360 edition. It just seems they aren't as common on this world. <laughs> oh yeah, I love the fact they give you a map that shows the whole world from the very start of the game. I don't want to explore too much of it as I'm hoping to update this world to the newest update one day and then I'll get some extra biomes so I'm kind of keeping to this corner over here. Down here I made a cake to get the achievement because you can get trophies in the console edition that's what I really liked about it. Oh I did find one diamond. Wow. There's down to my strip mine, we don't have to go and see that. But let's just wander around the world exploring what there is to see. As you'll notice we have one of the rarest biomes ever, well it just doesn't exist anymore that's what I mean. They deleted this extreme hills biome for the more rocky mountains looking and then they changed the rocky mountains to just the caves and cliffs update so they have these giant mountains nowadays oh and look you can block with the sword still i remember that from xbox 360 that brings back so many memories of teaming on hunger games you'd always do that oh yeah here's my skin as it's christmas time i'll show you i'm a christmas pudding can't really tell when I'm wearing the armor, so I'll take it off. But these are the extreme hills. Let's go to the very top, see what we can look out at. Sorry, I'm gonna kill these animals for food. I always run low, so it's best to keep an eye on how much you've got. Oh yeah, and here's where I spawned. I started over around there in the snowy area. Gotta find a way up this mountain. I don't want to break it too badly. Oh, we're getting there. No. This way looks better. Oh, look at these views and the low render distance on console. But it doesn't lag at all right now, although I'll show you an issue later. When I go to the jungle, it does seem to lag. But look at this world generation. It's so pretty. Bunch of rocky mountains here, the snowy area, more extreme hills, grass down there. I don't like the grass in this biome as much as the flatlands. The flatlands are my favorite grass. Or even the jungle has nice grass. Let's go this direction now. Oh yeah, there's a desert village. You can see the little gray part in the desert. I don't want to explore there too much. I just had to get cactus for my farm. I'm gonna leave the rest for the future world generation. Oh, you can see my house from over here, yay! And we have a nice river that goes all the way around this forest. Forest is pretty good. Let's go over to the jungle. I can show you the lag issues we've had. But what I really want to find are pumpkins, as I'm a big fan of making snow golems and iron golems roam around your house. I'll make like an area for the snow golems, as I always forget to do that nowadays because there's so much else to do in Minecraft. But back then, I kind of did a lot more different stuff seeing as there was less things to do in total if you know what i mean so i'd use snow golems i'd get lots of wolves which i don't tend to get anymore i just forget about getting dogs now look the frame rate drops you can see that i don't know if you can tell it's perfect here as i turn this direction it gets laggy i believe that's because of the jungle biome because jungles just have a lot of leaves which as leaves are see-through, it creates more lag, I think that's why, because you have fast leave settings on Java Edition. There's also lots of vines and other plants that are just difficult to render in, although it's fine now. 
That's weird. Probably, oh, yeah, there's just random patches that starts lagging. So that is the one issue with PlayStation 3 Minecraft. So old consoles can't keep up with jungles, I guess. <laughs> I feel like such an old man playing these old editions and getting nostalgic for the past. I shouldn't be at this stage yet. I'm still young, but I just love going back. Oh, look, we can check out what happens. Ooh. We can check out what happens at the end of the world, look. It's just so weird seeing a vast sea like this. You don't usually get them this big without any land. But in old console edition at the border, you always would get the giant seas. So this brings back a lot of memories. Um, and here, we can see what happens when they generate a little bit wrong. Oh, and I'll die if I go under there. But look at that. Oh, you can't mine these blocks. And I've had an issue before where I've been mining, strip mining, and there was actually a diamond on this layer. But you can do a trick with sticky pistons and pull it back out, which I didn't know about back then, but it was very sad when I was a kid. That was probably my villain arc story when I couldn't get to the diamonds in the world border. But there is something nice about living in a smaller world than infinite Java worlds or bedrock worlds we have now. It made the world feel more like a community. If you play with your friends, you would all have, like, know the area. You'd have your own spots where you'd build a house and visit each other. Like, you're all in a close proximity. You can't stray too far away from each other in this small map. And it just meant like you would spend more time in worlds i feel like well it depends on java edition you can do crazy stuff i've had a fair share of great worlds on that but it was more like a sense of community on old smaller worlds like we would make shopping areas and mini game places and then have all of our houses in a little town my playstation just made a loud clicking noise i don't know what that means it does that occasionally and it sounds kind of worrying oh yeah i forgot to mention something very nostalgic is roses let's go find some roses and also the dandelions look much different back in the old day. I don't know why they bothered changing them. They're kind of more round now, which is illegal in Minecraft. Roses seem really rare. Why are there only yellow flowers? Let's keep looking for them. I know I have some back at home, so I'm trying to find my way there. Oh yeah, caves were very different back then than they are in the cave update. Much smaller, usually. Although they did have some cool underground places. All right, we're almost back at my base. Something cool about PlayStation 3 is the online service is still up. So if you do have friends who also have the console, you can join each other's worlds. You will have to update to the newest version though. So that's why I'm going to update soon because my friend also has Minecraft on PS3. So we're going to play this world together. Um, and here we go. Here is the old rose. I have been past it already and shown you, but I forgot to look at them. So nostalgic. I wish poppies never existed. These are way better. Also comment down below if you remember the blue roses or whatever. I don't know what, cyan flower, I think. They're in pocket edition only. Yes, we're getting green. The very old versions of Pocket Edition had cyan flowers. I'll put a picture up now. I need to smelt this cactus. I'm gonna have a slice of cake. I feel like for the video, I got to do it as I have not touched it for a while. Oh, there we go. Took it from the very back. Let's grab this cactus green. We're also gonna need some bone meal. I'm gonna chuck a few things away. I forgot to mention about the old crafting. You can see it was like this little crafting grid. Everything was in its place, kind of like Bedrock. Bedrocks is just different. It's built for the mobile more, but this is very nostalgic to look at. I haven't seen it in a long time. We can now make lime for the creeper. There we go. Four pieces of lime. Trying to get some bookshelves as well for an enchantment table, but I can't craft one of them yet. I don't have enough diamonds. I know I need dark gray already for the creeper. Oh no, maybe I need black, but I'll dye these other ones first. Making progress in this world. I have no idea what I need to do with my house now. It's not going very well. I think I'll just use wood. Hmm. I don't mind that. I can put windows in each of these and maybe this one can be the doorway. Let's see. Where is my axe? I don't have an axe. There we go. That looks all right. I'm going to go to bed. It's getting nighttime. The sheep's trying to hide. Ah, good morning, Minecraft world. What shall I do now? I should harvest my wheat. I'm not sure what I'm using the wheat for. I forgot. Oh, wait. I remember you can trade wheat for emeralds at the village that's a good use what else can i do make bread make cakes make cookies oh i should have harvested cocoa beans while i was at the jungle it'd be nice to have a little wheat field all around actually so yeah let's just fill this all in with wheat getting quite big yay oh this area looks so nostalgic the graphics are a bit like brighter i think it has something to do with gamma you can change the gamma and it kind of makes the game a bit washed out but also much brighter Let's see how it looks on 100%. Oh, wow. I used to play on 100% all the time, but I don't think I like it like that. It was pretty good on 50%, I'd say. Yeah, it just makes it look nice and green and vibrant. I love it. And it's something to do with like the resolution. It gets kind of blurry in the background. It just reminds me of playing Xbox 360 edition back then. Also, I did grow up playing PlayStation 3 at my best friend's house. So I have a lot of memories on this edition as well. Oh, I'm gonna use this for the floor. Might as well get rid of it because I don't need these cobblestone slabs. 
there. So yeah, this is 2023 and I'm still enjoying PlayStation 3 edition. It's fun to go back to the simpler days of Minecraft. And what I was thinking is I could do update videos on this world. When me and my friend update the world as well, I can show off what new features there are. I'll just do little tours of updates we made, like builds we do things we find in the world it'll be kind of a fun little series to do on the side as you guys seem to like when i play old versions of minecraft thank you so much for tuning in for this episode i'm really glad i bought a playstation for this it's gonna be really fun playing this from time to time anyway i really hope you enjoyed this and hope it wasn't too emotional looking back on the old days let me know in the comments what you want to see next and please leave a like and subscribe to help me out see you next time Bye bye